Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teagan, Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm your Toyota resource. Today we're going to look at one of the newest models to hit the U.S., 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross. This is the XLE, two different colors. Since it is October when I'm filming this at least, you might watch it in a different month, but we got to talk about secret compartments, trap doors. <coughs> Let's walk around the vehicles so that we can see the back, the sides, the front, and I'll describe what I think is so incredible about this one. This has been overseas a huge hit because it adds versatility to the all popular Corolla, the world's best selling small sedan of all time, the best selling car in the world of all time. Look at that. It's elongated, it's stretched, it gives you back seat room with a hatch. And now you can choose from several different colors. It comes in L, LE, and XLE. So these are trim levels that we're familiar with. Both of these are XLE. This will be kind of fun to talk about because this one has two option packages that you might be interested in. You can upgrade the radio. Right now it's Toyota audio system with an eight inch screen. You can upgrade to audio plus. That goes from six speakers to nine JBL speakers. You can do that or you can add in the convenience package and that gives you the moonroof and a power hatch. That one is $1,250 for the convenience package and I believe it's $1,465 for the audio upgrade. All right, since we're just starting off the video, let's play a game in the comment section right, right now, right, right, right now, leave a comment with what you think the factory MSRP would be on the highest level of the Corolla Cross. There's L, LE, this is XLE, front wheel drive right here. What do you think it's gonna be? And then leave a comment right now. And then at the end of the video, I'll ask you again, what did you think versus your prediction? It'll be fun. Prediction, prediction, pain. Clubber Lang, Rocky Three. Let's talk about what's under the hood. Let's talk about how much this hood weighs. This is a very heavy hood. And then where you put the prop rod, it's over here on this side, on the passenger side. It's got a groove cut out, but it was hard for me to find. So maybe it's good that you're watching this video in case you do need to do that. I like that there's soundproofing material here. This is a 2.0 liter four cylinder engine. It's matched with a CVT, continuously variable transmission. It gets 169 horsepower, 151 foot pounds of torque. How is that important to you? This is really smooth. It's got that multi-link suspension on it. It's very forgiving around corners. It's smooth, it goes with you. Steering wheel doesn't turn too tight. It's got good acceleration, deceptively good acceleration. Remember, this is Corolla stretched out, versatile. Plane. Now what's the fuel rating on this one? It averages to 32. This is the front wheel drive. You can also get it in available all wheel drive. 31 in the city. 33 on the highway, combined for 32. Gas door right here on the driver's side, 87 octane is just fine for this bad boy. Let's look inside, remember the blue crush one here. Boy, what a brilliant color. This one does not have the power back hatch because it does not have the convenience package. Look at the space in here, 26.5 cubic feet of storage space. It really opens up the possibilities, I say. I guess this is a good place to store something down here. This right here, it's got a light, and this is the groove that fits your tonneau cover. If I can get that and show you. So that way, when you're looking in from the outside, you won't see people's belongings. Stay away. It's also got hooks right here so you can strap things down and bungee them as you're moving them. Here's some extra storage room as well. Oh, holla. I see this too. Mahalo. Let's look underneath here. All right. We've got some soundproofing material, the jack equipment, and this is a temporary spare, but I do like that it's not a can of fix a flat, so to speak. Tire repair kit. I like that. Let's see if I can open this from the back. All right. We did that. And then just like Buffalo Bill likes, there's a little hump right here. Rub the lotion on the skin. And then if you have the seat too far back, it's not gonna go all the way 
Now what can you do in this vehicle? It's real tall. And now we're gonna look the front and examine what we've got going on here. Got some brushed silver. Of course it's got power windows, duh. Look at the slope of the window. Look at the window in the wall. This is Softex. So this is black with white stitching. Or is it? It's not, it's light gray stitching. Does not come with a power passenger seat, but it does have a 10 way power driver seat. We'll look at that in a minute. Just wanna kinda show you around the quarters here. Armrest comes out and then we'll look in here because that's what we do. Do 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 do. This is how we do. 12 volt circular port going on. This has nice deep cup holders I see. They're not very wide, but they would do for most, I don't know, 16 ounce tumblers, something like that maybe, maybe 20 ounce bottle. Then we've got electronic parking brake and brake hold. You can see we've got sequential shift mode if you wanna do that. This has the auto start and stop if you want to use that. And then it has the wireless charging. That's down here along with some ambient lighting. Can we see that? I think we can. Oh yeah, baby. And then up here, we've got heated seats. It's got three USB ports. And then I'll show you more about the stereo and the audio visual soon. Now let's talk about back seat space because right here, my knees are kind of wedged right against the back of the seat. This is all the way back. It's also tilted. I gave two different measurements we'll call it the seats very comfortable though this one here my rear end kind of sinks in there it's a sinkhole and then this one right here but look at the headroom it's pretty good for my 5'8 frame I don't know about a six foot seven person this is with the seat a little bit more forward as a matter of fact me who was sitting there adjusted it with it reclined I've got a pocket here but I've got lots of leg room which is great for a vehicle this size and then we're going to go ahead and scan the front as if I was a passenger in the back. Hey, look, I am a passenger in the back. See that eight inch screen there? Got some digital temperature controls. So what do we got in the front? We got a lot going on. First of all, the cool factor. You're driving a Corolla Cross. This is something people have been looking forward to, right? It's gotta be cool. It's gotta be Fonzie cool. And one thing that helps with this is this elongated shape of an eel headlight here display. We've got LED accent strip lights. We've got LED headlights, LED fog lights as well, along with this nice dark gray metallic three-dimensional front grille. It looks like a chain link fence to me. It also has Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. This also has parking sensors in the front and in the back. So it alerts you like it did when I was driving this. Beep, 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 beep. So that way you know you're getting close to something before you hit it. And backing up, beep, 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 ah, uh, beep, beep, ah, uh, beep, beep, ah. Uh. For lighting, this is about the best chance I have to show you what's going on when it's lit up. We've got LED accent lights. We've got LED high beams. When the high beams are on, the fog lights are off. All bets are off. Look at that. Corolla Cross, baby. Oh, that is just really cool points for me. And then this one has the low beams on, which allows the LED fog lights to be activated. Of course, this isn't going to be a strobe light like you're at a Halloween haunted house or Camp Crystal Lake with Jason after the horny teenagers, right? No, 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 no. They'll be solid. Solid as a rock. Let's look at a couple different cargo compartment configurations. Tongue twister. This could be when you want to stack something up. It's pretty tall. It does have a little lip here. So right here, I wonder if you could sleep in this thing. Probably not. It's a little cramped for that, but I mean, campers in a pinch, they might want to do that. And the Corolla Cross is going to have LED tail lights, stop lights. It's got parking sensors. Nice chrome badging, beautiful, right? You can open it. There's backup camera there. I can do it by power, by hand, whatever I wanna do. Here's the way to open it and close it if you wanna do it this way. I see JBL speakers. 
And then this is with the back seats up. So this might be able to fit me. You think? And then here's another look up close and personal. Totally different phenomenon when you're looking at a dark colored car versus a light colored car, isn't it? Let's look inside from the driver's view. This is on the Blue Crush one, which does not have the upgraded stereo system, does not have the power lift gate or the moonroof. Does have a leather wrapped steering wheel along with controls that we're used to seeing on a typical Toyota for all of your safety devices, your radio, your tunes. And then this right here goes through the presets that might give you information about your car. Lane departure alert, radar cruise control, tire pressure, trip time. We've got lane tracing assist, pre-collision system, blind spot monitor, parking availability, parking sensors, I mean, rear cross traffic alert. Ooh, we got the braking, the road sign assist, and then this is where you hold that down. You can change between analog and digital. This is what it looks like without a moonroof. Nice and squishy, forgiving. Should help you out in case of an accident. The seats are very soft and very comfortable. That much I can say for sure. Does not have a power steering wheel, although you might not expect to have that on a Corolla Cross. Look at the gloss black accents running up the center side. High heat, low heat, high heat, low heat, repeat. Then we've got digital temperature controls for two different sides. She seems to have an invisible touch. With the stereo system, this gives you an eight inch screen no matter what. It also gives you the ability to do wireless charging little wireless charging pad there. We've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, got Safety Connect up here as well. LED lights, what? Yeah, look at this. I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. I feel like I'm in like a limo or something like that. What do we got here? Sliders, holla, White Castle, baby. LED light up there. And just for note, We've got grab handles on two sides, and we're about to look. Oh wait, we're about to look at a plane. Oh, there it is. And then grab handle here and grab handle there. This is what the glove box looks like. Enough to hold a manual, a thick manual, and plenty, plenty more, and it goes in pretty deep. This would be ideal for one of those sport bottles, I think down there along with a pocket to put whatever else miscellaneous you want and just look at the metallic accents going all the way around breaking this up i love the raised screen i don't know about you guys i wasn't sure about it at first but it does limit distraction because look at this you're not looking all the way down here where it used to be you're looking up here it's a slight movement if you're looking that's good i feel good -na 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 -na. i knew that i would now Da -na 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 -na. So good. <clears throat> now, if you can see here, we've got turn signals here. We've got turn signals here. They're all working on the left side to the left, to the left. Now back, now back, because I got to talk about smart key. It has smart key on the driver and the passenger front doors. So auto lock and unlock there. It also has blind spot monitor and a nice big signal here. These are heated side mirrors as well. They're color keyed. It's a nice design, really cool. And then we've got these matte black over fenders here, which kind of break up, but it offers a really good contrast and they match the accents down below here as well. This is the 18 inch alloy wheel. It's a two tone design, light and dark accents. And we got to show a closer design of the side mirrors. A lot goes into that. The engineers will be happy that I focused on this. They work hard on this. Blind spot monitor, smart key. We've got the black roof rails up top. Shark fin antenna there. 
And then we also have some chrome accents here. I know this vehicle hasn't been cleaned yet. I was just so excited to try it out. Look at this, a little bit of a, I don't want to call it an Easter egg. In case you forgot what you were driving. There it is, bucko. Corolla Cross is really proud to be a Corolla Cross. And here's what the wheel design looks like on a lighter exterior color. Moonroof, no moonroof. Got a lot of food for thought here, a lot of fodder. Look at the accent line here. To me, that's cool. That adds so much cool factor to it. Probably aerodynamics as well. We're gonna look at both window stickers here. This is the Corolla Cross XLE Blue Crush made in Huntsville, Alabama. Final assembly point, USA, USA. Here's the fuel mileage on a front wheel drive XLE. Here's some standard features that might be interesting to you to know. Just stop the video if you want to learn a little bit more. Here we go. 26,300, 26,325 is factory MSRP before we get it delivered to the dealerships. And then this particular one has hood protection, hood paint protection, all weather floor mats, all weather cargo mat. This one would be 28.3. And then this one here, XLE Windchill Pearl. It's gonna have a special color charge because it's Windchill Pearl. Same thing with Blizzard Pearl or Moon Dust or Ruby Flare Pearl, those kind of things. These will be all the same features that you just saw in its little neighbor window sticker. 26,325, but we're adding in the convenience package. Moonroof power back door the Audio Plus, which one of those do you like? Special color, 425. Okay, so this is gonna raise the price after options and delivery. This one has Toyo Guard Platinum on it. It's got some paint protection, all weather mats. 32,157. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Now it's time to leave a comment with, now that you know the pricing, how did your prediction in the beginning differ from at the end. If you already knew it, that doesn't count. You're cheating. You don't belong in Squid Game. Squid Game is fair for all contestants, right? So leave a comment. Let's play this game. It'll be fun to see everybody's before and after guesses. All right, everybody, time to go. It's getting blustery out here, but at least it's not 95 and humid. I appreciate that. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching. What do you think? I left a lot of food on the table to talk about and pick at. Do you like the design? Do you like the interior? Do you like the exterior? What do you think about the idea of having a Corolla SUV, a Corolla Cross? It's really cool, right? I love it. I think it's gonna be great for a lot of different personalities, a lot of different lifestyles, for work, for commuting, for sure, for camping trips, for overnights. I like it. I like it. I'm so excited it's here in the States so that I can start seeing what people think once they buy it and drive it for thousands of miles. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Please hit subscribe. You'll help me get one person closer to 100,000 subscribers. That should happen in about a week or so. I'm so blessed and grateful. Thanks everybody. Woo! 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 I'm excited, 100,000 people, that's a lot. But you can follow me on this one here and my sister channel that just started, Auto Jeff Reviews. Just click over to Auto Jeff Reviews and hit subscribe. You'll see the whole automotive world in reviews. All right. My Instagram is Toyota Jeff One and Auto Jeff Reviews. Thanks everybody so much. Peace to the world. Do something nice for somebody today. I'm out.